years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday. The uh, This is Wednesday, the 10th of July. We're looking at the Dow up 10, just 10 points at 39,305. So I look at this as the broader U.S. economy, Dow 30 stocks. So that's usually when, when it's doing very well, as it did when it went to the 20th of May, high of 40,077 was doing great and then it pulled back quite sharply. Now it's within the kind of midpoint of that range and it's just saying maybe there's a bit of a slowdown there and that slowdown should be um, perceived by the market uh, over the next couple of weeks. But in the meantime, you've got, uh, you've still got, uh, let me just do this right now, the SMHs, semiconductors, which had an all-time high on the 20th of May, a month later than the Dow, at 279.57, Holding pretty well here, the high today is 278.96, so it's less than a dollar away from an all-time high. Um, advanced micro devices, I think, is part of that. Uh, yeah, big move up, up 4%, up 7 at 184.53. So that's, that's the whole thing about the semis. You just, uh, to look for weakness, you might be looking at weakness somewhere, but out of the blue through this rotational aspect, uh, something else just has a huge move up and, and cancels out any negativity. So let's go through these numbers. Let's do this again. Dow at this point is up just a fraction. Where did that go to? INDU. There it is. Up a fraction at uh, up one. At 39,000, now it's down five. Uh, the S&P had a nice gain. It's holding the gain, actually, all-time high. It's at 55, 94.67, up 17. Really nice action. Um, now, the skinny candles going to this particular high, all-time high right now, is saying that the momentum to the upside is becoming extremely selective. This is the way I'm looking at it. And um, price does hold because of that. But at the same time, you don't get these very strong candles, which is what I kind of I, I would expect right now. So the slowing down of upside momentum corresponds to um, the rotation that I'm seeing through the different sectors. And you can see that even as I'm talking about the, the semiconductors, look, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA is up only two at 133.92. Um, and yet you've got AS, uh, LM, no, ASML. Oh, why did I say that? Uh, let me just go to LRCX. This is, there we go, LRCX, all-time high, LAM research. And you've got a couple going continuously higher. So with that said, let me go through this again. You've got the QQQ, which now has broken out to the upside from that 500 round number high of yesterday. It's at 500.45, negates that completely. And you've got this uptrend line, which I think it's going to. And that trend line is at about 505, 506. This is target for the week uh, This on this move up. Looking at the IWM, it needs to go on a strength now. It's only up 94. It really needs to get to um, the 20. It's at 202.33. And uh, we have a long position. Um, kind of a, we've got a, a potential split position, but we've only got one part of it right now. And one of the reasons is this rotation, because I've been discussing this rotation, I've been following it through the different sectors, and the different sectors are saying, hey, even within a sector, you can get something very strong, but you can also get something very weak. And because of that, um, whatever is has the greatest capitalization tends to lead and bring every every everyone else up. All right? And that's what we're looking at here, that there is a, a, and a, it's a hint of a rotation, and that rotation will get stronger if it goes L, that's the nine period moving average. You see the inside track propeller zone, this little technique I developed years ago, shows you that this is the price, the little springboard, and it's, it's a rising springboard, so it keeps pushing up. But if it pushes up the same percentage as the other gains, this one stalled earlier, it stalled at the resistance inside track repellent zone. So you want to see by, I, I'd say the latest, What's today? Today's the 10th. 
So today's the 10th and it's Wednesday. Um, I'd say by the 17th, a week from today, without pulling back and breaking under 200, I would like very much to see the, the um, IWM Russell 2000 ETF small caps trading, not just going once, but trading the 204.80 to 205.30 area. And that way it will say, you know what, I've turned the corner. I'm now, I, I've had a move to the downside with lower lows and lower highs. Now I'm attempting to make higher highs and higher lows. It hasn't done that yet. But if it does that, it says, whoo, now we can have a bit of a rotation that says, you know what, the semis need a bit of a rest. I'm not saying they have to. They don't know that they have to. They don't know anything. They just move the price, right? At this particular point, they are rather overbought, and therefore they can have some kind of a digestive phase. If they do that, I don't want to see the general market pull back with the um, uh, uh, small caps. I want to see the small caps become the rotational go-to place. They haven't done that yet. That's what I'm hoping for. Not hoping. I'm looking at and saying that nine period moving average, my uh, indicator of last resort, is the one that will say if it starts to strengthen, because the MACD is good, stochastic is still way down at 57%. To get it to 80% or more, which is really what you need to continue a buy mode, it's in a buy mode right now, but struggling, which says it should go to a D, to, to continue higher, you have to get to the 80% level. So that's a long way to go. And I would have to say probably 206 is the only time you're going to see that. Well, 205 to 206. All right, enough said there. Let's go to the XLK. XLK is the uh, S&P Select Tech Spider Fund. Um, big A, is this a B or is this a continuation? Is this a C? Is that the starting point? I am going to say that's the starting point. So I'm calling this a C right now in the daily chart. I'm calling that um, a C in the weekly chart and a D in the monthly chart. So this is still very, look, when I'm looking at, when I'm going, let me do this again, because I mentioned it yesterday and I completely forgot. And when I was interviewed by Jacob yesterday, I, I did discuss it, but I didn't follow through. And what I wanted to say is that my monthly, my weekly charts are all suggesting that based on the 914 period moving average strength, that we should see higher highs to come. The monthly charts, peak D, we've already got a peak D in the monthly chart of the uh, Dow. The monthly chart of the uh, S&P right here is um, at a leg E. It's testing that inside track repellent zone. That particular line is at about uh, 60. And let me just get you the exact figure right here. This month it'll be. Uh, yeah, so that'll be 56.51. All right, and we're at 55.91. So, okay, it's a little bit of way to go. Um, and the QQQ, look, the QQQ is only in leg C. All of this portends in the monthly chart, all of this portends higher prices to come. So, in the, and it says that to get a to get the nine period moving average to go negative, even in the daily chart of the QQQ, you would have to see a slide. It's at four, it says 500 right now. You'd have to see a slide under the 480s. No, I'd say probably 475 to get that. To, be, to turn pink. So, so far, these are all very bullish signs. And let me do this as we're about to wrap it up. I want to go to the GDX. The GDX is, is trading up strongly. I've got this left side, right side price time match. It says 37.87 by, uh, by the 15th or 16th. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So I just wanted to show you something here. Let me just get out of these futures because this is quite important. In the, um, in the gold, in the GDX, I had this left side, right side price time match to, from the high that was made at 37.87 back in around about May the 20th down to the low of 32.70, I think, 32.84, 32.84 on the 17th of June. I drew in this pattern that said there should be a, a rally if it breaks this inside track repellent zone. And if the nine period moving average cross positive, there's a good chance that it could go from uh, right here, from uh, this left side high to the Champ Wave inside track repellent zone, which hit exactly right there. Uh, that was on the 30 at 36.54 on the 5th of July. Then it pulled back, and today it's gone just above that. It's actually trading right now at that level, but it went just above it. And uh, it went to 37.13, 37.87 is our target. And I decided that if I took it from the number of bars at the 37.87 high to the 32.84 low, the number of bars should equal uh, a price move back to the 37.87 high, if I'm correct. And that should occur by, um, by next week. And next week, the 37.87 would be a target. Well, we're at 37.13 we, in leg C. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but look, it's, look how strong the price is above the nine period moving average. The nine is above the 14. Uh, the MACD is very strong. Look at the aperture, the distance between the uh, nine period differential, that's the green line, and the red uh, 26 period exponential moving average. Look at this. This is a daily chart. Look at the relative strength out. It's, it's becoming even more positive. The stochastic is flat at 89%. That, not, you couldn't ask for anything more than that if you want to be bullish. And if we want to see it continue higher, then you want to see that stay flat. In other words, that stochastic is your, is your um, it's not a GPS in the sense it's not giving you direction. What it's giving you is the 
Uh, it's your shock absorber. It's giving you the strength to be able to hold up, and that's really important. But the on-balance volume has been quite weak. And that uh, that's, uh, says either you've got a long way to go until that turns positive, until it gets overbought. But at the same time, I like to see volume move with it, and so far it isn't. Okay, with that said, I need to go to, um, and then the weekly chart's got this beautiful cup formation. Look how strong the nine-period moving average is over the 14. That was a clue to me. So uh, we, we, have a, a gold, we have a silver stock in our portfolio. Um which is doing really nicely, and it's got a pattern that um, actually someone had asked me if I would show it. Uh, should I do that now? I just need to go to the futures for a second here to see if there's some stability. Okay, that was a peak G in the in the one minute, and I don't know if that's a B or if that's an extension of the leg D in the five minute chart. But the nine period moving average is still positive. Okay, so in the and that's the same thing in the. Uh, 10 minutes. All right. Well, with that said, I think that means that we're having a little digestive phase in the general market right now. I want to do this as we move on. I want to go to the silver chart. SI. Yeah, that's just kind of stuck. It should be moving up nicely, but in fact, it's just kind of stuck. And that says to me that it's holding well. It isn't participating. It's, you know, it's funny how they rotate. Gold goes well, then silver holds, and then silver goes well, gold holds. So when they both go very sharply together, then you've got to be prepared that at some point there's going to be a bit of a pullback as they both come back down. But in the meantime, silver's holding well. It's up 12 cents at 31.18. Next thing I want to look at was high-grade copper. High-grade copper. In fact, I just need to get out of something here. Take a profit while the profit's there. Ping. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. With that said, um, we've got high grade copper is holding nicely. Uh, this pattern is a very important one. Why? Because when it suddenly pushes up and then pulls back and holds nicely after the single leg, it's still a gray leg A, meaning that I haven't got all the technicals in place to say that this is a buy mode in high grade copper, but it's actually a buy signal that is. Look, the MACD is good. Stochastic's at 79%. That's good. On balance volume's a little bit weak. The 9 is over the 14. So price is doing what you want to see. But at the same time, what you're not looking at is that um, the monthly chart, sorry, the week, yeah, the monthly chart has this long-legged wick. I mean, look at that wick. Uh, it's like a little butterfly to the downside. Meantime, on the other uh, uh, yeah, so then there's a big red candle, and now there's a big green candle, but this is only really the beginning of the month. We're not even halfway through the month yet. So it's a nice comeback in, in high-grade copper. So now it means that I need to look at FCX. Did I type that in the wrong place? I think I did. FCX, that's Freeport McMahon. Uh, should be bouncing. Yeah, you see, it's not moving the way I would expect. So it's had a nice bounce. And it's holding well, but on a move like this in copper, I would have expected that instead of being at 51.32, it was at 52.80 in leg C. Weekly chart has this rally attempt. The nine period moving average is good. Let's go to SCCO, that is Southern Copper. That's the same thing. Look how it's pulled back and it's not pushing up today. And that's the, my concern is that many of these stocks are showing, for instance, uh, there's, an, there's a lit, uh, lithium. Look, lithium did the same thing, had a lovely move to the upside, and then it kind of gave it back. So you need to see follow through. So let me just make that clear. High grade copper needs to move a little higher. I'm just going to see the little ping. Uh, there is, we have Garo in Newport Beach, California. Garo, how are you? I'm very good, sir. How about you? I'm well, thank you. You'd All like right. to get that? I have uh, two questions, Mr. Basil, if I can ask the second one. But the first one is CMG, uh, the Chipotle. By yes, looking at the daily chart, uh, there is a gap uh, in March, uh, which is $56. And there is the 200 EMA, which is $54. My question is that, where do you think is a major support? Is that on 50, 56 dollars or 54 or somewhere else? That's my first question. 
Okay, can I just deal with this first question? The first question deals with 56.92 was the low on the 19th of April. And today's yes. low is 56.82. That's the first yes. thing that is tackling. So it's already taken that out. It hasn't closed under it, but it's taken it out. Um, most importantly is that the nine-period moving average is very strongly negative below the 14. The MACD is very negative. The stochastic is 9%, very negative. The on-balance volume is very negative. Um, and the uh, so as I see it, and I was looking at this yesterday, um, my target for this, I think you're absolutely correct. So I have the 200-period exponential moving average at 53.69. And that to me says um, you have to go one step at a time. So the next level that I'd be looking at, and you're correct about the gap. So the gap high was 55.97. So that's my the next step is say 50. Let's call it six. We'll be back in a moment, folks. Garrett, 60 is your first stop. Oh, sorry. Let me do that again. 56 is your first stop. How deep can CMG default? Now it's down If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. Back with Garo in Newport Beach, California. Sigaro, CMG. As I'm looking at it right now, I have a one-to-one -one measured move uh, based on the high that was made. That was a high of... 80, I can't read that so well, 67, uh, no, that's 69.26 on the uh, 18th of June and going down to the low of the 1st of July of 60.21, uh, 25. So that takes you to the almost, the, it takes you pretty exact. So I like to have a whole bunch of things correspond. That takes you right to the 200 period exponential moving average of 53.69. Then I have a measured move that takes you from the low that was made back in the 3rd of June to the high that was made, what did I say it was on the 18th? Yeah, the 18th of June. And that takes you down. I don't do it one to one to the bottom. I take it from the, the next peak and that's the peak of uh, the 7th of June, and that takes you to right here, which is um, 56.67. And today's low is, what did I say it was, 56.82. So we're testing that. If that breaks and it goes down to the 56 area, then immediately I will grab this particular indicator and I'd go to the low that was made right there. And that one says um, the target could be 52, but I don't like to do that. I like to go just one step at a time. Let's see if it breaks. Uh, most importantly, if it breaks today's low of 56.82, I'm going to say if it breaks 56, then you're on your way to the next step, and that'll be like 55, and then you've got your 200 period moving average. And this should happen quite quickly. Now, the only thing I wanted to say to you is. The weekly chart still has a very strong nine period moving average over the 14 period moving average. So if there is an inside week, let's just say we don't go all the way down this week. Today's only Wednesday. You've got three full days, uh, almost full days. And if it doesn't do that, but it has an inside week all of next week, that's going to be very important. In other words, whatever the low is this week, if next week it bounces on Monday and stays there, that could mean that that nine period moving average doesn't go pink. It doesn't go negative. So I do once so I'm saying one step at a time. You've got your acceleration in the daily. All the technicals are accelerating. You've got momentum to the downside. But the weekly chart is still very strong. Why? Because it's been in a fantastic night with a nine period moving average went positive, went across positive on the, uh, the week of the 3rd of November. And the price was around about 41. And it went all the way to that uh, 67 high, and yeah, you are at 57, so it's a work in progress. But that's what I'd be looking at. I hope that helps you. Yes, yeah, sure. I wrote it down, everything, and I will call back on Friday, and we go over it one more time. Very good. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to wait until the I'll see that some movement or some uh, some uh, 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 movement that I can uh, uh, that I will convince myself to go long. Very good. Okay, My, because can I ask 50, a second question, sir. Okay, let me just say 58. If it goes, if it closes over 58.82 here, it means you've got to be careful because it's slow the downside momentum. Yes, question away. Very good, very good. In, uh, yesterday I bought uh, Nvidia uh, for only only 200 shares at 130 dollars, and I'm going to keep it for a while. You think it's a wise idea, or should I sell it and get out? No, you're asking two two questions that are completely conflicting because you said you wanted to keep it for a while, and the other you're quite ready to get out. You know what? I'm going to say to you. Why didn't you make it easy this time? You bought it. You're up three points. What? What? Were, what? Did you have any stop in mind when you bought it? No, sir. I bought it because on the daily chart, the candle hit the top uh, top dot, and the dot went down. The sharp parabolic dot went down yesterday. That's yes. why I bought it. 
So okay. I want to I want to see that is that a long from here or uh, this is going to fade uh, in a in a day or two. Um, the kind of buying that's coming in, the steady buying. Hasn't yet taken it to the 140.76 high, but I can just tell you this: what I, I would, I know this is not your technique. I would, I like the way that it's moving now. It's almost against the market itself. It's saying, look, I've got, I'm still, I've got residual strength. Can I put it that way? There's, it's got residual strength, and the nine period moving average is still strong. That nine period moving average has supported 128. So I would say to you, the better way to do it. Is to take to leave yourself the opportunity that it's going to go a little deeper into that very big candle, the reversal candle of the uh, 20th of June, which had a high of 140.76 and a low of 129.52. And here it is, right. kind of, it's in the third, lower third. I would let it go a little higher. I'd give it a little room. And if you're really thinking, if you're kind of nervous about it, I, I would just put it. Put a stop in. Make it a trade. If you got in at 130, make 131 your stop. And I'll tell you why. Because if it drops two points from here, gives up the gains, then it's probably going to pull back quickly. That'll give you the clue. But if it actually, by the end of the day, if it pushes to 134.70, look, you've, you, you're trading. Use a trading stop. That's the best thing. Let it tell you because it, you did the right thing. It's doing what you wanted. I don't see any reason right now to get out unless it tells you to get out. And right now it's saying I'm holding. I just have a trading stop. Make sure that you don't take a loss because the day is young. Any look at the market. It's been up, down, up, down. Anything can happen. And yet this is holding pretty well. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening to me. Have a nice day. You Thanks, too. Bye -bye. Thank you for calling, Carol. And good luck with that uh, NVIDIA. So, uh, folks, let me just do this. I wanted to do. Uh, so, it's very interesting. So, uh, in the XLF, I wanted to go to the XLF. A question came up the other day, and I think I forgot to get uh, Maybe I just mentioned it. The XLF is kind of stalling. It's like the Dow. Look, it went to a high back in May, it pulled back. Then it went to a high in. Uh, sorry, it went to a high in March. Right there, yeah, March, uh, middle of March, end of March, it goes to a high, pulls back, nine period moving average holds beautifully, and then it rallies again and goes to a higher high, peak D in the weekly chart, and then it pulls back, and look, just like the Dow, this one's a little bit longer. This is taking one, two, three, four, four weeks, five weeks with the low that was made the week of the 14th of June, and it hasn't gone anywhere. It hasn't broken down, but it hasn't shown the kind of strength in this particular phase. And that's why I'm saying I'm seeing a rotation here that's going sector by sector and even stock by stock. And this just says to me, whoa, wait a minute. Um, why, why would the financials stall here? Uh, they've had the yields going up a little bit. And they should, there are a lot of things that should have been. And J.P. Morgan, uh, J.P. Morgan went. Where did it go? J.P. Morgan. Let me type that in here. J.P. J. P. Morgan, uh, one of the premier banks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. 
as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi hey folks, I just want to say that uh, JP Morgan has done very nicely, but it's just stalling right now near all-time highs. And so, as I'm looking at the XLF, it's a very diverse kind of picture there. Some stocks, our Bank of America is doing, it's bumping into that up channel resistance, uh, BAC. And I think I have a call right now. Yeah, BAC went right to the 4174 uh, target on the left side, going to the right side. Uh, and it's right in the inside track repellent zone. We've got George in Tampa. George, how are you? Oh, just fine. I'm hoping you're having a good day. I'm having a good day, and uh, what would you like to look at? Okay, I sold CDE this morning, and okay. what I'm looking at, uh, one, did I make a mistake, and two, uh, should I buy it back now or try to wait for it to go down to that gap? Okay, so CDE is coal mining, used to be called Codaline from where it comes from, ink, uh, silver, it has some gold, I believe. But in the meantime, uh, I should mention that we are along this, and it's got this pattern that I've been talking about for a little while called the Chamberlain Stork Leg Formation. It has a long leg, then there's an oval body. It must be an oval body. That's exactly what it's got. And then it breaks out, and that, that's the neck. We're waiting for the beak to, to unfold. I've got this as leg C, and I'm anticipating that it should go to a D. There could be a bit of a pullback, and then it goes higher. Then the big thing is, how does it test 605, which is the arch high of that oval body, and that was on the 6th of June. Now, your question is, you sold it. Uh, where did you get in? It was, uh, I can't remember. It was $4 and something. Okay, so can I just ask you why did you go? Why did you did you uh, get out of it? I just thought it was topping out, and I was going to try to uh, get it on a retracement because I seen that gap down there. Yes. Okay. So okay, this is what I wanted to say to you. Um, the moment I uh, once you mentioned CDE, you see this weekly chart, and the weekly chart says that. Um, it's in this big oval pattern. It's really like a bowl pattern. A bowl pattern. This is the bottom half of the uh, semicircle. And it looks to me like it's attempting to go to the, uh, this is the weekly chart to the Champ Wave Inside Track repellent line. This is the uh, target, re target resistance line. And that resistance line has 671 as the next level. And... Um, it's walking very nicely. In other words, the 9 period average is over the 14. Um, and that's the same thing here in the uh, daily. 
the nine is over the 14. So I don't want you, I don't want to spoil the whole thing for you where you've you had a really good plan, you've made a very good profit, but I am going to make a suggestion to you, and it's just, you don't have to do it this very second, but I'm going to say, you whatever you took off, because I like this very much, Cordeline, CDE, and it seems mm -hmm. to me that uh, the sixes should be very strong support. Maybe even 592 is the 14 period moving average in this particular phase. And if I'm looking at the gold contract, I'll do both but gold and silver because this is silver. Uh, the gold contracts pull back a little bit from the highs. It's, it's moving nicely. It's not great. And the silver contract was doing very well. And now it's just stalled a little bit, but it's not breaking down. It's just stalling. So this is what I'm going to ask you to do. Just to think about You've taken off. I would have actually suggested to you that you, you don't sell everything, but take enough off to feel that you're really comfortable for whatever happens. If it goes up, you're comfortable. If it goes down, you're comfortable because you've made enough money from this particular issue. Now you want to look at it as if it's a continuing pattern that you want to still, for instance, there's nothing wrong technically to say the daily, weekly, monthly are all very positive. Therefore, Getting back in could be quite difficult. That's number one. Number two is, I personally think that there are enough flurries in gold and silver to come over the next uh, couple of weeks that is going to benefit the general market, uh, that is the sectors, the gold and silver sector. So I'm going to ask you, think about it. You have to do it right this minute. Um, and you probably got out of the higher price than it is right now, which is at 6.30. But I'm going to suggest, think about just tiptoeing back in. Just go back in and say, this is a completely fresh position, but I'm going to stage it. I'm going to go in now because that other one's finished. I don't think it's topping out. That was your question. I think it's holding very nicely. It might have a little digestive phase, but I just I think that's all it's going to be because at 6.05, it should go into the body on the, the beak part of this pattern that I call the stalk leg formation. And then it has a big rally once the beak is finished. So I don't want to miss that. So I'm going to say start your position. And then you're talking about the gap down to the 570s, right? And I don't think it's – I just at this particular point, I don't think it's going to the 570 yet. I think it could go there later, but I don't think it's doing that right now. So that's why I'm saying okay. to you, I, I just get back in some – but think of it as a new position. And the new position is going to have stages. So one would be here and one would be, you could even say one is at 570. But I can tell you this, if tomorrow it's holding above 620 or it makes a new recovery high, I think it's actually going to go higher in this phase right now. And that's why I'm saying to you, I prefer that you were actually in it, but you can be in it in a, in, as if it's a, a new position. Uh, does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay, so, and let me know how it goes. Maybe by Thursday or Friday you can say, look, I did this, I did that, and we can look at it again. And as I say, this particular formation, when the beak, that is the down move starts, is usually very quick. It often occurs after a peak D, and we haven't got to that yet. And then that whole area of how deep does it go under 605 is going to be very important. If it just goes underneath and then actually starts to rally after that, that rally could be quite big. So I'm looking at this quite favorably. I hope that helps you. It did. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, George, for calling. I appreciate that. So, folks, I just wanted to go through something right now. Look, there's a lot of talk about uh, – um, I, I never remember the name of American Institute of uh, Amateur Investors or, or investors or something. I've even uh, given uh, talks to the uh, to the association. For some reason, I just never get the order right. AAIA or something. Well, if you look at the number of bulls, it's really pretty high. Um, that doesn't mean you have to you have to have a major market top, but it does say that. There's a little bit too much enthusiasm. I'm not actually seeing the enthusiasm. The, the, even the sector that was on fire, the uh, uh, semiconductors, holding very well. Some stocks like Arm have gone to new all-time highs. Even as we're speaking, it's almost testing its all-time high at uh, 185.97. But I'm also saying I don't really see. I think it's just that the market has held without a serious pullback for so long. 
That's the reason why there's so many people in the market. Now, the other thing that goes with that, it says that at some point you will get a pretty sharp and a pretty severe pullback. But the pullback that comes from hysteria, I don't actually see hysteria. If you're looking at Bitcoin, I've been in a sell signal for Bitcoin uh, for a little while now. Um, look, there it is down to 57, let's call it 58,000 level. 56,300 is the Georgia free moving average. It's testing it. It wasn't a 75. I just don't see that right now. And that's the reason why I don't see a, a severe pullback just yet. I can see digestive phases. So I hope that uh, that covers the, the, the over the enthusiasm part of it that you would see in the VIX, which is trading uh, up 26 cents. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, I needed to ask, and I can't remember someone who did my name to help me. What was that? Oh, well, maybe, maybe it was in the uh, YouTube. I, just, I forgot to write it down. Yesterday, I did that whole thing on that uranium stock. I said, this is really a good uranium stock. Got to write down the name of it. Uh, we do have a uranium stock which is doing very nicely today. Um, it's up, uh, yeah, it's up a little bit. Uh, it's up about seven and a half percent. So let's, uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you for that comment, Gary. So that's Powell flags rising, uh, rising risks to jobs. So Zip uh, was mentioned also. Zip is uh, this is uh, looking for jobs. Way down, it's down five percent today. Uh, down fifty cents at eight oh six. And I did the other one, which was. Was it RHI uh, or, uh, yes, Robert Half? Um, 
it's right at the, at the lows right now. Uh, this is tough stuff. So, yeah, we've got a very mixed market here. So with that said, and we're about to go to uh, wrap up the show, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Let me just do this right now. The Dow is up only 42 points. I'm uh, oh, sorry, up eight points at 39,299. You can see that's what I'm saying. There's a kind of a stalling motion going on over there. At the same time, you've got the SPY at all-time highs. So that's the, that's the difference. So this is the broader 500. This is a good sign, but it is also about 10 or 15% of the, of the SPY itself that is really leading the market up. So with that said, I'm saying just an HGX. Yep, HGX, thank you for that. Uh, HGX is the HG, HGX. This is the Philadelphia Housing Index. HGX, there it goes. Look at that. Uh, holding steady, but at the lower end of the range. So it's a very selective market. There's enough residual strength, but I think we're starting to fade, and that's the reason why we've raised cash, trying to be very selective, and I think there's going to be some wonderful buys coming up in July and August, and uh, I'm talking about buys that can hold for a couple of months, and that's what we're looking at. Oh, don't forget the Tiger Dollars going on right now. That sells fantastic. That's your deal. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day uh, and stay tuned. We've got Steve Rose coming up with a great program. See you tomorrow.